So what fresh new hell is this? Oh man. So before I even tell you what this thing is, I'm going to be honest and tell you I didn't even know it existed two weeks ago. So within the last video of part one where we broke the engine down, my boy and one of our Kachi Kids family members by the name of Nuns here mentioned the fact that he had a tool that he only used once to remove what he called the Kickstarter gear. Now at the time I thought he was actually talking about my Kickstarter which I have removed, but then after the next couple of days, I took a couple of deep glances at the case and I noticed this. And this guys is the Kickstarter gear that Nuns here was talking about. And it's attached pretty securely to the crank. And that's where this comes in. Guys, let me introduce you to a Kickstart gear removal tool. And a lot of people are gonna tell you to just use a puller on this, which I have numerous ones. But after reading a couple of comments, I heard a bunch of horror stories. So then I decided to go ahead and splurge the $30 it was going to cost to get this here from Puerto Rico. And today we're going to use it to remove the kickstart gear. So as with any gear puller, setup is key. If you see here, we have a lip that is going to go on the underside of the gear. Now as for your bolt or puller, you want it out at its furthest level so it will fit over the crank and let's see if we can get this gear pulled and now we add our collar to hold it all in place so now if you notice if I just start turning from here the whole crank's gonna turn so I need some sort of leverage as I turn we have a nut here I'm gonna put my vice grips on to keep it in place and now we're just going to use our 17 millimeter socket. And it's gone. It's right there. So guys, that's going to do it for a wrap on this video. So until next time, you guys have a great day. And you know I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out, guys.